So the solar energy from this particular project is solar thermal. It's all about heating water. So it will be used to heat the water in the swimming pool, uh, the giant swimming pool here at Southland, as well as the water for use in the locker rooms and throughout the facilities. So it replaces uh, natural gas for hot water heating in this particular facility. In 20 years the time when we get the overall capital cost that we pay today back in our pocket. In terms of savings. But there is an yeah. ongoing operating benefit that we basically reduce our budget, uh, you know, load uh, our burden on the budget which impacts taxpayers directly. A portion of the water heated by the solar panel will amount to about uh, 15 to 20 percent at the max. It could be less. 15 to 20 percent at because we use a lot of water. You can't imagine how much water we right. use in this facility. This is a great experiment for us to reduce ongoing operating costs for the city as well as reduce our environmental impact. So we were able to invest some provincial money, some federal money and some city money into this project to heat the swimming pools and the water here at Southland and we anticipate there'll be significant cost savings from that going forward. So we're very happy about that. Solar panels don't heat the water 100%. Uh, they heat up to a point and then the boilers will make up the rest, make up the rest. And even at night and if there's a cloudy day, we don't have sun, we still have to have a backup system because we're serving the community. And we do have those backup boilers existing within the facility and they'll uh, make up the heat.